is a battlefield. Battlefield for a unique kind of warfare. Underwater operations. The men who'll take part in them come from all branches of the service. They're volunteers, picked men with a tough assignment. But they've got the stuff to carry it out. They're picked for swimming ability, endurance, native intelligence. The maritime unit gave them preliminary training at the OSS West Coast Training Center. The Bahamas, with warm, clear water and mild climate, are chosen for the next phase of their training. Here on Salt Key, just off Nassau, they'll learn to go down to the sea in Lambertson units. It takes experience to operate this underwater swimming unit correctly, efficiently. They're getting the experience, learning how to prepare it for use. Clear the unit of all air before circulating pure oxygen through its system. Adjust the face piece till it's comfortable but watertight. Open the oxygen valve. Control the flow. Check each step carefully. This unit, developed by Maritime, enables a man to remain underwater for as long as two hours. Operating from a mother craft, trained men can swim unseen into enemy harbors to attack shipping and installations, carry out demolition and reconnaissance missions, locate beach obstacles and mines preparatory to amphibious landings. So land training is important, too, for these amphibious operators. They must learn the tools of their new trade. They must learn how to handle demolitions of all kinds, plastics, TNT, limpets, bangalores, primacord, caps. They must learn the automatic weapons, too. Carbine, 45, M3 machine gun. These men won't use their weapons unless they have to. But if they do, they'll use them well. They learn to shoot straight. Radio, to call them back to the mothership some black night off an enemy shore. This MAB DAV set used in training sends out a constant buzz signal. The men carrying receiver sets learn how to pick up the signal and estimate direction. By studying the pitch variations, they can get on the beam and ride it home. Chow never comes too early for these men. Sandwiches, but no picnic. The heavy meal comes at night. You can't swim on a full stomach. How to assemble and operate rubber boats is next on the program. Rubber and wooden paddle boards, kayaks, rubber mattresses, LCRs. They'll get the men close to their objective. Now the objective is practice. But a man in a rubber boat is lost without navigation. The men begin a lasting friendship with the compass and learn simple navigation. In other classes, the men learn infiltration, reconnaissance, intelligence, reporting. 
Occasionally, high-ranking officials visit the island on inspection tours. This time, it's the governor of the Bahamas. The boys groaned later when the camp censor told them they couldn't mention the Duke in their letters home. Security, you know. For recreation, these watermen skin dive for lobsters or fish. The face plates give them clear vision underwater. The swimming fins give them added power and maneuverability. Sometimes they skylark with Henry, the class mascot. Canine, amphibious, M1. But mostly it's work. Getting experience with the unit. Learning how to handle the boats in any weather. Firing their weapons. Practicing their navigation. Practicing their radio. Developing their bodies and their minds for the job ahead. Every week there's a night problem, each more difficult than the last. The operations order is red. The mission is simple this time. Debark from shore in rubber boats, paddling to point A, where the men don their units and swim underwater to point B, then back to the boats and home. Gear is readied for the operation, and squads of eight men shove off in their LCRs. In an actual operation, the boat would carry fewer men, with explosives and radio gear taking up the extra space. Arriving at point A, the men attach their units and swimming fins. A last check and it's over the side. En route to the target area, they check their compasses to see if they're on the course. Target run made, the men surface and return to their boats. Off come the units for washing down and cleaning on the beach. Small rehearsal for the big show coming up. A show where every man will know his part perfectly. Yes, this also is a battlefield. An underwater battlefield where the enemy will fall. <laughs>